Okay, hello again, this is Mr. Steele. Um, what we're going to go through here is section 5.4 in your book, um, Angle, Sum, and Difference Identities. And basically, um, the reason I'm doing this video is because people requested a second opportunity to hear kind of the um, goofy songs um, for the sine, cosine, and tangent of A plus B or A minus B that I've stolen from my old honors pre-cal teacher and calculus teachers, Mr. Richmond and Friedrich from Lagoon Creek High School. And so that's what I'm going to go through here. Um, but first, before we start, we kind of need a motivation. So why is it that we really um, need these long, complicated identities that revolve um, around singing and dancing? Um, or that I make pretend revolve around singing and dancing? And the answer is um, because we sometimes want to find the exact value of non-special right triangle angles. So for example, if I asked you to find the cosine of 45, you could just draw a special right triangle that was 45, 45, 90, and then everyone would be happy and he'd be like, yeah, we got it. But unfortunately, if I ask you to find something like, I don't know, the sine of 75 degrees, well, um, not going to work so nice, because there's not a special right triangle that we know of for 75, 15, 90 right triangles. Like, that's a different kind of angle. The same thing's true if I asked you to say, I don't know, the cosine of, let's come up with something, maybe negative 15 degrees. I mean, hey, again, 15, that's not a special angle. That doesn't work. How's that going to look? And then, um, same thing for tangent. What if we wanted to find the tangent of, I don't know, let's go something something useful here. Um, what if we wanted to go 285 degrees? I mean, we can find those. I mean, we can find where those angles are, but we can't really calculate those values. So what we need are some identities that allow us to... Um, figure out um, sine and cosine and tangent all from looking at different parts. Because, for example, what we could observe is that the sine of 75 is really the same thing as the sine of two angles being added together that we know pretty well. We could say this is the sine of 30 plus 45. And we know a lot about 30 and 45 degree angles, but we don't know anything about 75. So this, if we could find a way to find a formula for sine with two angles being added together, we'd be in business. Same thing over here. For cosine, that could be also something very similar. This could be the cosine of, I don't know, 45 degrees minus 60 degrees. Because again, we know lots about 45 and 60 degree angles. There's nothing really different about them. Finally, for the last one over here, tangent, 285. Well, it's a big angle, but at the same time, we can break it up just like we did the other guys. We can say that this is the tangent of 225 degrees plus 60 degrees. Like there's nothing illegal about that. So we just need now identities that make these work. So what we're going to do is we need to go through the very cool, very memorable, and very entertaining song and dance that were created by Mr. Richmond and Mr. Friedrich over at Laguna Creek High School, or at least they presented it to me. Um, and so that's what we gotta do. So first though, we need to kind of set the atmosphere and change this picture a little bit and get it ready for us to solve these three problems. Okay, here we go. Okay, so when in doubt, um, wing it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So what my goal is here is I want to um, give you another reminder about all the songs that um, I'm borrowing from Mr. Richmond and Mr. Friedrich over at Laguna Creek, where I learned them. And so um, to accompany the songs, obviously I tried to do a dance. Um, tried is the um, keyword here because I'm not very good at dancing. So in this case, I've brought in someone who might have a little bit more rhythm than I have. Um, if you... Um, have watched Disney cartoons for a while, you might be familiar with them vaguely. Um, this is my assistant, Megavolt. So Megavolt was a villain on Darkwing Duck, and he's going to do the actual dancing here. So I've got three different dances to do. I'm going to try to do, do them using Megavolt. Um, and before I do it, look how cool this is. Look at this. They don't make toys like this anymore. Look at that. It like creates a spark. You know how dangerous that is? It's awesome. Okay, so here we go. So we want to do the dance. So first, the cosine conga. So trying to remember the cosine formula. And remember, the cosine formula's biggest strange thing is that the sine switches in the middle. If it's cosine of a plus b, it becomes a minus sine in the middle. If it's cosine of a minus b, it becomes a plus in the middle. So that's why the cosine conga has a little extra piece in there. So the words cosine, cosine, here, I'll pull it up a little bit. Your words cosine, cosine, sine, sine, sine. So that middle sign is S-I-G-N. So that's to tell you to switch the sign. So as far as the dance itself, um, we actually can switch our spot when we get there. So Megavolt would be cosine, cosine, sine, sine. Ah! Fail. Okay, there we go. 
cosine, cosine, switch sides, sine, ah, it's hard, sine, sine, okay, you know what, this isn't working, I need to get some more, um, something a little more festive in here, oh, look, what's that, is that a disco ball, I think it's a disco ball, um, of course, now it's blocking my little sine thing, so there we go, there's my disco ball, there's my formulas, so now, as far as Megavolt doing the dance, it's cosine, cosine, sine, 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 cosine, cosine, sine, 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 or cosine, cosine, sine, sine, Cosine, cosine, sine, sine, cosine, cosine, sine, sine, sine. So, cosine, cosine, sine, sine, cosine, cosine, sine, sine, cosine, cosine. Switch sides, sine, sine, sine. Or let's see the heck. If I hold them by these little electric things, it works. So, cosine, cosine. No, that's not a conga. He's got to have be around the person in front of him. There we go. So, cosine, cosine, sine, 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 cosine, cosine, sine, sine, sine. Now you came off the screen. There we go, one more time. Cosine, cosine, sine, sine, sine. And there we go. There is the cosine conga. So, one dance down. Okay, second identity would be the ones for sine, sine of a plus b, or alpha plus beta, and the sine of alpha minus beta. So the sum and difference identities. And so this time we're going to do the sine shuffle. Again, stolen from Mr. Richmond and Mr. Friedrich over at Laguna Creek High School. So um, this one's a little more elegant. It's a little more formal. Um, again, Megavolt's dressed in his best. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do the sine shuffle. So the tune's a little different. Um, what's nice here is there's not that twist where you have to completely switch direction. Because notice the sine of A plus B, you get a plus in the middle. And the sine of A minus B, you get a minus sign in the middle. And so, in fact, that's a little bit easier this time. It's a little less to worry about. So when we do the sine shuffle, it's just going to be just like it says, sine, cosine, cosine, sine. So sine, cosine, cosine, sine. So again, he's facing the same direction the whole time. Nothing's really changing there. So now to add the music, um, I can't promise to remember what the song was. I think it was like Blue Moon River or something like that. I could look it up, but um, it's late. So as far as using the song, it's sine, cosine, cosine, sine. So getting Megavolt in the action. Sine, cosine, cosine, sine. So he's just kind of shifting to the side. Uh, maybe I can do it better this way. Sine, cosine, cosine, sine. So one more time just because it's kind of fun now that I'm actually getting it right. Make him look a little disco-y here. So there, he's kind of getting down. Sine, cosine, cosine, sine. And voila there is the sign shuffle. So two down, one to go. Okay, the third of the dances is probably the most fun one, but it's also going to be the hardest one for me to replicate using Megavolt. Um, that is the Tantan, so for the tangent identity. Uh, if you look at the actual song, um, the words are, um, and you can be changed around a little bit depending on what you want to do, um, tan A plus the tangent of B all over 1 minus tangent A tan B. Now the negative here, um, or the downside for the song is that it only works for the positive one, but if you just remember that the minus one um, would be the opposite, then you should work out okay. And I noticed that I missed a beta here, so in the spirit of fixing things, voila. So there is... There we go. <coughs> okay, so for doing the song, you need Megavolt. Let's get him in the picture. Um, tangent, or for the tan tan, it's a lot like the can can. So dun 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 so maybe he's going to jump. He's going to jump in the place of the legs thing, because I can't manage the legs thing. So um, deal with it, yo. Okay, so the song itself, um, before I attempt to sing and move Megavolt at the same time. Tan A plus the tangent of B all over 1 minus tangent A tan B. I don't know what to say now. Tan A plus the tangent of B all over 1 minus tangent A tan B. And then you can repeat it on and on forever and ever um, if you want to do like the lamb chops theme and just keep doing the I don't know what to say and then continue the song. But again, um, using Megavolt as best I can. Tan A plus the tangent of B all over 1 minus tangent A tan B. I don't know what to say now. Tan A plus the tangent of B all over 1 minus tangent A tan B. Yeah! Oh, that was, that was a fail. And yeah, 
there we go. So there are your three songs. Um, the cosine conga, cosine, cosine, sine, sine, sine. Um, the sine shuffle, sine, cosine, cosine, sine. And then last but not least, the most fun one, um, the tan tan, tan A plus the tangent of B all over one mine is tangent A tan B. And there are some great tools to remember the actual identities. So now we got to actually do some math to look at these things. Thank you, Megavolt, and just because it's your video too. Oh, there we go. There we go. Don't make toys like they used to.